Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us in this short video about our work entitled Curcumin Nanoemulsions Stabilized with Modified Phosphatidylcholine on Skin Carcinogenesis Protocol. This will be a brief overview about what you can find in our published paper. As we know, cancer is a condition that can have several possible causes. However, it is mainly characterized by uncontrolled proliferation rates. The mechanism that is mostly affected during this process is the cell cycle, composed of interphase and mitosis. This process is heavily controlled by several components, but mainly cyclines and CDKs. No surprise, this is a mechanism that is greatly targeted for the development of therapies to treat this pathology. However, they do use very unspecific compounds that may also affect non-cancerous cell. For this reason, complementary treatments have been designed to counteract this condition, such as the case of curcumin. Curcumin is a compound that is extracted from the rhizome of curcuma longa and has been demonstrated to have several positive health properties. However, it does have its downside. It is very low water soluble and has a very poor absorption rate. It is for this reason that in our work, we develop nano emulsions with this compound. We were, we were able to achieve this by performing an acidosylous reaction with the enzyme phospholipase 1A and medium chain fatty acids, additionally phosphatidylcholine, to increase the absorption rate. We then tested this nano emulsion with a transgenic mouse model and a healthy mouse model for a control. Our protocol was divided into two main phases. In the first phase, they would receive a single dose of DMBA, rest for a week, and then the second phase was composed of two weekly doses of TPA for eight weeks, along which with they would receive their treatment. As results, we were able to determine that the group that had received the curcumin nano emulsion had a lower tumorogenesis index and lower tumor areas. After QRT-PCR was performed, we also determined that CDK4 show a decrease in expression in groups exposed to curcumin. However, it was way more significant in the one that had the nano emulsion as opposed to the free curcumin. We then moved on to do a histological analysis on our mouse model, and we were able to determine that in the case of curcumin in its free form, we were still able to detect neoplastic lesions that correspond to epidermoid carcinoma, as opposed to our nanoemulsified version that just displayed slight chronic inflammation. These results suggest that the administration of this curcumin nanoemulsified was able to inhibit the progression of skin carcinogenesis in the transgenic mouse model. On behalf of the authors and all our work team, we appreciate your time. Should you have any questions, please feel free to contact our corresponding authors. Thank you.